he said they will not rule and he told me categorically that this is not a prophecy of uh, you need to pray or whether you pray or you do not pray it will come to pass they will not rule this nation so many prophecies have been released in the past in Nigeria, especially in 2023. A lot of pastors, bishops, prophets released prophecies concerning the Nigeria presidential election. Some of them played that well, while some of them did not play out at all. The video about to watch right now is another episode of what went wrong. We are going to be looking at some of these prophecies and try to analyze and see why they did not play out according to the way the man of God or woman of God said it is going to play out. Please, I want you to join me in this discussion drop your comment about this in the comment section drop your opinion in the comment section let's learn together i want to learn from you why you also learn from me because it is important for us to look at all these things because you see some of, sometimes uh, we look at some of these uh, prophecies from this uh, prophetess and this prophet we criticize them and all the rest but we have not taken our time to look at what happened why they did not play out at all so please let us watch this video look at this prophecy and try to understand what went wrong please Please don't forget share with them on social media platform share with your friends and love them don't forget also drop your comment in the comment section let us learn together god bless you as you do so watch the video yeah i greet you all in the name of our lord jesus christ this is a series on the prophecy for nigeria we are we are aiming at a new nigeria and by the grace of god we will get there is going to come to pass i've told you this one is not just a prophecy for prophecy's sake it's going to come to pass you are going to experience a new nigeria there will be a transformation in this country not by power not by might but by my spirit says the lord i've told i've given you an anchor word that the lord gave to me consigning politicians in this country he gave me the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 28. I will read it now, then from there we take our flight. He said that even as they did not retain God in their knowledge. Many of our politicians have not retained God in their knowledge. Because of this, what happened? He said God gave them over to a reprobate mind. God is going to give them a reprobate mind, a hardy mind. A mind that they will begin to make mistake a mind that will not consider the other and just decide this is what we are going to do you are going to see tozu you are going to see stress you are going to see disgrace you are going to see a situation where things will begin to happen and they begin to fight themselves because the hand of the lord is upon this nation over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient there are things they will begin to do that is not convenient now today we are looking at atiku abubaka i've said it in the pro former prophecy that he will not become the president of nigeria all he's doing is just a waste because this is what the lord has said and the lord keep repeating it to me he said to me that Atiku Abubakar will not be president of this nation. I will repeat it again. Thus says the Lord, Atiku Abubakar will not become the president of this nation. Thus says the Lord, Atiku Abubakar will not become the president of this nation. And then the Lord added many things that he spoke to me recently. He told me that even his money will be used to repair Nigeria. So listen to me, those of you that are watching my prophecy. This is not prophecy for prophesying sake. No, it is the Lord that speak. And when God speak, it's going to come to pass. This prophecy about who we rule is not a matter of uh, it, may, it may not, it's a probability. No, no. These two people, prophecy that the Lord has spoken to me, Atiku and the uh, Tunumbu, he said they will not rule and he told me categorically that this is not a prophecy of uh, you need to pray or whether you pray or you do not pray it will come to pass they will not rule this nation the reason best known to god there are some reason that is has been given to me but it's personal i would advise that they go and seek the face of god god is not happy with the situation of the country i've told you that the lord have heard the cry of the masses i saw a vision of spill of blood coming out from the cloud 
And the Lord said to me, This is the cry of my people. This is the cry of the masses. Atiku Abubakar will not rule this country. And the Lord said, Even his money, those money they are heaping up, whether in Dubai or in Nigeria, anywhere the mo their money is, is going to be used to rule this country, to repair this country. You will say, Ah, man of God, how is that one going to happen? You will see it, it will come to pass. It is going to come to pass. It will be like a dream. He said, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. It will look like dream. It's going to come to pass. Now, the Lord said that Atiku Abu Bakr will be used to tear PDP. Atiku Abu Bakr will be used to tear PDP. PDP is going to tear. You will see it. It will come to pass. Not quite long from now. It's, you are going to experience a tear in PDP. Atiku Abu Bakr will be used to tear PDP. Because God will harden his heart. He will not yield to what the other people are saying. And the PDP will be tear. Now let me shock you. Let me shock you. Jonathan, good luck Jonathan, is the last president of this country that will come out from PDP. Jonathan will be the last president that will come out from, from PDP. The name PDP will soon go into oblivion. It will soon go into oblivion. This is what the Lord has spoken. The grace of PDP has been given to somebody in a, another party now. The grace has been given to somebody in another party now. The Lord told me that Atiku Abu Bakr is likened to Isaac in which blessings was cunningly collected from him. It has been given to another party. You see, that is why we should seek the face of God. Wait, before you continue watching, I want you to take a few minutes of your time and pray and intercede for Nigeria. Like I've always said in all of our videos, Nigeria is the only country we have and Nigeria needs prayer. Let us pray that God should intervene and give us the best leader that will help Nigeria move forward. May God bless you as you do so. Keep watching. If the politicians were to seek the face of God, referendum would have been the first process before election. During this referendum, they are supposed to call everybody together and then they pray and seek the face of God. Because my, the Bible says, if, if my people called by my name shall seek my face, humble themselves, humble themselves, seek my face, seek my face, return away from their wicked way. He say, I will yield their what? land. I will hear them and I will hear their land. God is going to raise men that will deflect from PDP any time from now. Those men, strong men, God will strengthen them. He will empower them. They are politicians. They will break out from PDP and they will weaken the party. They are going to weaken the party. They are going to weaken the party. Thus says the Lord, Atiku Abubakar will not become the president of Nigeria and his money will be used to repair this country. I saw in a vision where there was a big mountain before him. If I were to advise him, I would tell him not to go for presidency. I would tell him to even abandon politics if possible, become an advisor to politician. I saw a big mountain before him and he tried to push the mountain. The more he push, the more he get tired. The more he push, the more he get tired. And suddenly, suddenly he slump. There is going to be stress. He cannot withstand the power. Because the hand of God is against him. The hand of the Lord is what is doing this thing. The hand of the Lord. You will see what the hand of the Lord is going to do. The hand of the Lord is going to work against leaders that the Lord does not want to be there. The hand of the Lord is going to work against aspirants that he does not want them to be there. The hand of the Lord is against him. No matter how he try, he will not get there. You will see it. You will experience it. You will say, ah, this pastor said it all. He said it all. It's not by my power. It's not by my might. But by the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The Bible tells us that the word of the Lord will surely come to pass. The word of the Lord will surely come to pass. 
God has made a way for us, for us to have light in our candle. The candle light of Nigeria has been put off, but now God has put it on. And any power in the coven that said that the same old leader will continue to rule us and there is no change, that power is paralyzed in the name of Jesus. That power is paralyzed in the name of Jesus. That power is paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Every foul spirit working against this nature, tying this nature, saying this nature will be frustrated. I command that power be frustrated in the name of Jesus. A Lord opened my eye in a vision. I saw garden egg. Those garden egg, they were ripe and they were falling. And I asked the Lord, what is the and the Lord said they are politicians that frustrate this nation. God said He is going to frustrate them, He's going to weed them out. Is going to weed them out out of the system. I saw Atiku Abu Bakr in a state of shame, in a state of distress. At the end of the whole thing, I saw him in a state of distress, and he was tried by the leadership of the new Nigeria. A new Nigeria is coming that will try politicians. All their money, wherever they heap it up. You shall be recovered from them. You shall see a new Nigeria. You shall see a new Nigeria. We need a new Nigeria to come to pass. God does not lie. This this revelation has been given to me that the, this new Nigeria that is coming, they are going to prosecute leaders. They are going to prosecute leaders. Those ones that heap up money, they have plenty of money, but this money is not well distributed. The hour has come where we as believers need to pray we need to watch and pray believers need to watch and pray hear the word of the lord atiku abubaka will not become the president of nigeria hear the word of the lord the money of atiku abubaka will be used to amend repair this country hear the word of the lord atiku abubaka will tear pdp pdp will crash land it will be a thing of the past Hear the word of the Lord. God said he will harden his heart. He will harden the heart of many politicians that they will begin to make mistakes. You shall see a lot of mistakes. It will be like dream, but it will come to pass. That is the word of the Lord. There will be a crash landing. There will be a failure. There will be frustration in, in the life of all those politicians that have remained in power and changes are not taking place. They will see frustration. In Jesus name thank you for listening in. subscribe if you have not subscribed and share give to your friends subscribe give you tell them to subscribe and be prayerful let me pray for this nation father I pray for this nation that victory will come all this revelation you are giving to us it is for us to prepare our mind it is for us to pray it is for us to stand Lord I pray that souls will be prepared for a new Nigeria and there will be a new Nigeria in Jesus name I pray amen I'm sure that you have listened to the prophecy and I'm sure you pay serious attention to this this is the only thing I'm going to say concerning this prophecy you see I always tell people this any time we, we are talking about prophecy this is what I always tell people you see we need to understand these things number one God's ways are not our ways God's ways are not our ways at all. God does not function like a man. So I'm not going to sit down here. I, I need to make that clear. I will not sit down here to condemn or criticize any man of God, any prophet of God, any prophetess of God, and all the rest. I will not do that. I will not do that because I always tell people this, that I did not give them this prophecy. I did not say uh, God said when God did not say. I was not there when God gave them this word. But there is one thing I need us to understand. I need us to understand that we serve a God that never fails. We serve a God that never fails. In as much as I will not sit down here to call any pastor or any prophetess name. I will try to make us understand this fact that we serve a God that will never fail. And we serve a God that will never put his servants uh, to shame. God will never send that any person just to shame them. God does not do that. He said that heaven and earth will pass away. He said that my word will remain true. He said that because the Bible said that God has magnified his word above his own name. So it means that whatever he says, he does. If he says A, it is A. 
if he says B, it is B. That is it. God never changes. It's not a God that will say eh, it will rain today and tomorrow he will not say, I have changed my mind though, it will not rain again. That is not God. God never changes. If he said this thing is going to happen, it will happen. It will happen. I always cite this example to people. If you go to the Bible, you look at the story of King Hezekiah. When the prophet brought a word that he is going to die, that he should prepare, he should prepare himself, prepare his home and all the rest, that he is going to die. King Hezekiah went back to, to, to intercede. That is the second thing I need you to know, that we have a system called the system of intercession. There is a way that there is a prophecy you get right now. You, if God brings a word to you and it's not something that you actually like, you can actually go and plead. Go and intercede. Go and plead your cause before God. That was what King Hezekiah did. He pleaded. He interceded. And guess what? Uh, just look at what God did. I just need you to take, uh, take note of that. God did not tell King Hezekiah, okay, I have heard you. You will not die again. Do you know if God had done that, do you know what would have happened to the prophet? King Hezekiah will likely start seeing that prophet as a liar. He will likely be seeing that, that prophet that prophet as somebody that don't even hear from God. If God just decided, okay, I've heard this guy's prayer, I've heard this man's prayer, let me leave him, let nothing happen again. But God did not do that. It takes us back to what I said earlier. God will never put, send that his, his servant or his prophet to shame them. God will never send you out to shame you. If God say go and do this thing, he will not make you push you out so that people will start mocking you. After King Hezekiah prayed, God went back to his servant. The prophet, he gave the word. He said, go back to King Hezekiah. He said, because of what you have... Man, oh, I was, see, eh, I tell you that God is a faithful God. God is not a man that lies. Neither is he the son of man that you should repent. Whatever he says, he does. He went back to... He told King Gaskara, go back to this man. He said, I have heard your cry. I have heard your prayer. You see, now, you, one will be wondering, do you know what will be call, going through the mind of, of uh, King Gaskara? See, our God is a beautiful God. He will be wondering now, okay, for this man to know that I even prayed, I even interceded, then it is God that sent him. Do you see what, what is happening? I'm, I'm sure you are trying to understand. I'm sure that you are seeing what is playing out. The prophet went back and said, God, I've heard your, your, your prayer, your intercession. Instead of you to die, he said he is going to add more age to you. You will not die again. Rather, he is adding more age. <laughs> See, God is a beautiful God. Though. Let nobody fool you. That is why I always tell people, eh, you need to learn to study your Bible. Study your Bible. If when you study your Bible, you will not be worried about the things going on around you and all the rest. You will not be bothered. When a man of God speaks, you will be able to discern, to know, okay, this is from God and this is not from God. Because whatever is coming, you look at it, first of all, from the lenses of the scripture. And then secondly, you connect with the Holy Spirit that is at work in you and try to discern to know if this thing is actually from coming from God. If this word is actually coming from God. Because I always tell people, some people speak out of emotions. So that is why it is important for you to have that spirit of discernment to know when somebody is speaking out of emotion and to know when somebody is speaking based on what they have heard from God. We are in a very dangerous time. The time we are in right now is a very dangerous time. The Bible said that many prophets will arise <laughs> and deceive many and he said if care is not even taken is not taken that they can even deceive the elect it tells you that we are in a very dangerous period we are it is important as a believer for you to connect with your with the holy spirit so that you can be able to have and develop that spirit of discernment so that people will not use you and deceive you if you look at what happened in 2023, a lot of prophets came out to say, God said, Paul says the Lord, this will happen, that will happen. Many of them, sorry, many of them got it wrong. 
and honestly i like i said i will never sit here to condemn anybody but i am trying to help us understand how we should be looking at some of these things in as much as we did not give this prophet these messages we did not speak to this prophet we we are not there when god spoke to them if you have the spirit of discernment you will know when they are coming with the right message and I need you to have this thing in, at the back of your mind. I will repeat it again. God will not send you out, his servant, to deceive you. To turn you into an object of mockery. God will never do it. It is beneath God. God will never do it. I am telling you, quote me anywhere. God will never do it. So when you hear all these things, so when I look at it, oh, the God said this and it did not happen. Listen. If God said this will happen and God has said, okay, I am changing my mind. God will come back before that thing plays out to also speak through that same mouth that brought that information. God will also speak through that same mouth. If God has changed his mind and said this thing does not, he will not wait for the thing to happen. He will not say, I changed my mind. No, 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 no. If that thing is beneath God, we, 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 we must not make God look too small. Don't make God look too small. If you understand these things about God, you will understand how God operates. He, he will never lie. He will never deceive you. He will never send that his servant to turn them into an object of mockery. A lot of pastors and prophets, they were mocked. A lot of prophetess, they were mocked because of what happened in 2023 presidential election. People have, have almost given up in prophecies thank god for the ones that played out thank god we had so many of them we had so many but you see it is important for us to pray read your bible study your bible develop that relationship with god develop that relationship with the holy spirit third thing i need you to understand is this you see, as a believer, as a believer, you must cry as much as you can in this time we are in right now or not to be carried away by emotions. Don't let, when it comes to things like this, put your emotions aside because that is where a lot of people are getting it wrong. A lot of us operate based on our emotions. Yes, you are a believer, you are a Christian. Yes, you, you, you love the things of God. But you see, you need to start, act, you, you need, when you hear things, eh, process it first. Relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Think. And then consult the Holy Spirit that is in you, if you have it. If you don't have it, develop it. It's, it will help you in this time we are in. Because a lot of people are being deceived. A lot of people are being used. Because they cannot discern. They cannot. They don't know the difference between right and wrong. Left and right. They don't know when God is speaking. When man is speaking. When the flesh is speaking. They don't know. They don't know. So you see this prophe prophecy we have just uh, uh, heard right now. I am not saying that it is fake. That is not what I am saying. I am not here to judge. I will never sit here to judge. All I'm saying is that when we hear prophecies like this, if we have that spirit of discernment, we'll be able to know where this prophecy is coming from. This prophecy right now actually did not play out the way it was said it would play out. That is why we are asking that question. What went wrong? What went wrong? Why didn't it play out like that? Please, if you have an answer to this question, please, you can drop it in the comment section. Also, we have a number in the description of the video. If you want to come live on our on our channel to try to explain some of these things to us, you can contact us through the number in, in, in the description. Let us talk. So that we need answers. Some of us need answers to, this, to the, all these things. What went wrong? What went wrong? Because a lot of pastors, they got it wrong. The prophecies did not play out the way they said it. And it is making people are now mocking when they hear, when we even post prophecy that is genuine. People hardly, people 
hardly believe because of what happened in 2023 and what has been happening in the past. Prophet will say A, B will happen. Prophetess will say B, D will happen. What went wrong? What happened? All these things are questions that is in the heart of many and also in my own heart. It is, it is just so sad. It is also sad. But I will not condemn anybody. I will not condemn any man of God. No. Because I know that, okay, even though this thing has happened, maybe this, this thing can be an interpretation problem. Because sometimes I can, you can send somebody, you can give somebody a message, they may not be able to communicate it the right way because of the way they understood it. Maybe they also did not hear well. Or maybe they let their emotions set in. What they thought would happen. Instead of hearing clearly from God. I don't know. But I'm just trying to understand what went wrong. So please, I will urge us. Let us do, just do these two things for me. First of all, pray for our pastors. Pray for our men of God. That God should guide them. Anyone that have lost their way, that have missed it, that God should help them, like, redirect their step, order their step again, so that they can retrace, come back, repent, and start moving in the right direction. Number two, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. It is important for us to pray for our country, Nigeria. A lot is happening. People are suffering. People are dying. People are hungry. People are starving. So it is important for us to pray for our country, Nigeria. I am begging us, let us do well to pray for our country Nigeria and as you do so, I know that God is going to meet you at the point of your need in the name of Jesus. You will not die young in the name of Jesus. You will not die early in the name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your hands upon will succeed in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will not swallow you. You will live long enough to witness the greater, the bigger and the better Nigeria that will soon come. I know it will happen. All you just need to do is to have faith. Regardless of all you are seeing right now, the Bible said that why we look not at the things that are seen, he said that they are temporal. Fix your mind on the things that you cannot see. All the things you are seeing right now, they are subject to change. They will change. Things will not remain like this forever. Mark my word. Things will not remain like this forever. Nigeria will be better again. Nigeria will be big again. Nigeria will be great again. I know it. I know it. And I need you to know it too. I need you to know it too. So please do me a favor, share the video on our social media platform, share with your friends and loved ones. Don't forget, like the video right now and drop a comment in the comment section. Share your opinion about this in the comment section because by doing this, it triggered the YouTube algorithm to continue to recommend this video to more people. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next episode. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.